all right so as mentioned in my previous video in this video we are going to work on our search functionality which we will call the finder i'm calling it finder because you know if you look at our code what has happened is i already have a search.js and so i don't want to mix any more you know complications to that so this is my finder.view in my template um i think we don't need anything else apart from an form and an input right so um now view has a v on submit okay and what we additionally need to do is i mean rather why don't i show you the problem first and then we will look at the solution so um this is v on submit it's as good as you know writing a submit you know in a typical php uh, world okay let's say that we are going to handle the submit of this form using handle form submit okay and we'll have a text field um class and that should do it isn't it um chrome let's see oh sorry again a problem where so this is youtube dash in here i think where should i put it this is video groups so i can put it here right um import finder finder view you need to reference the component here and then i think we are good to go okay um yeah i know the layout is not the best but we will look at it later on the only thing which i can do right now is style language equals scss okay and why don't i give some margin bottom 10 pixels okay um yeah that should be enough um now what happens is if i type something and i hit enter you'll see my page is getting refreshed right the form submit is happening i don't want to do that i don't want um a page refresh but i would want view to control that and that's why we have this you know on submit and then a view helper called prevent so now what will happen is let me refresh i type something and the page doesn't get refreshed okay we have an error what is the error property or method handle submit is not defined okay that's not a problem um we just forgot to do that so first um we need a data because we have to bind our model um, we will have search string which will be empty and why don't we do something v model is this okay and then here is data we'll add the methods and in here i will have my handle form submit okay now right now we are just going to go through the implementation i'm not looking at the entire validations but yeah we can always do that it's very simple if the string is empty you can you know, show some kind of a validation a uh, question so what will happen when someone hits the form submit or you know, when someone is searching for uh, a video well you know there are two ways to do it you know, because my dashboard this youtube dash 
because it is controlling all the data i can say that you know you know very well a finder will just raise an event and then i can have all my um you know ajax calls or you know the to the youtube search api from the dashboard okay but you know, my my thing is finder should actually find it and just give me the results and that's why what we are going to do is um i know it's a cold smell but right now i will again call this okay uh, so i need and i will do the api key here okay uh, the term will be okay this dot search string i'll keep the items to 10 okay and on response what we will do is what we get is a data so we will say window dot event bus oh okay we don't have an event bus yet let me quickly check the app.js we don't right so what we will do is we'll instantiate a simple view instance which we will use as the event bus so how do we do that we say window dot event bus equals new view and we pass absolutely nothing to this okay and then in here we can do window dot event bus dot this is dollar emit okay and what do we emit we can say something like you know the event names you need to be a little careful because later on when a lot of events are firing you need to understand what is happening okay so let's say search result from youtube and i will pass the data okay and so search this is happening and yeah i think this is good enough let us see if we can handle it in our dashboard right because that's where we want you know to handle the data so so we are here in our youtube dash inside the create method we'll have even buzz dot dollar on let us first quickly check whether we are getting this or not okay then we can look at other things so uh, data or rather search results or rather videos videos okay and console dot okay so come over here and what do we do black panther hmm. search is not defined my bad i need to go here and import search from i'm telling you there's something wrong with the php storms you know um autocomplete so all right now if you know, the connection is slow or you know, uh, what typically happens is there is a there will be a delay and so many times the user doesn't really understand that you know he is you know, waiting for a search result so what we are going to do is um, we are going to fire one more event in our finder for a better you know, ui and a user uh, for a better behavior um, so let's say we have an event which is okay uh, search for youtube started okay and i don't want to pass anything here it's just an event 
okay fine get out okay. um in here we have this listener we will also have window dot event buzz dot dollar on this okay and let's just quickly have in our data loading equals okay initially let's keep it to false okay although we will keep it true later on but um we can handle okay rather why don't we do that we tackle it entirely so this is loading true and what i'm going to do is in my template okay um so this is my finder the finder can continue to be like this i will say if we i mean if uh, if we have not loading okay right so if loading is false then i'll just stick it here but if loading is true okay what i'll simply do is i'll say loading okay let's now see if we can get that same effect here right we have loading and okay who is going to change the status um da, 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 response hmm so now you can see this thing is getting bigger and bigger right so i'll introduce methods in that let's just say uh, handle search results handle search results okay and i'll pass the result uh, then i'll say this dot loading equals false okay um i'm also doing this videos equals response right so instead what i will do is this videos equals result <coughs> so this is done and so what i will now do is this response should now work properly and if we have luck we get the same thing after search started right so in here what i will do is it's a very simple thing i'll say in here my this dot loading is equals to true okay so what i'm doing is when the search has started yeah i'll do it as loading equals true again and then i'll do false hit refresh um okay so i haven't changed the data and that's why the search result is again the same but that's a very small enough change what i need to do is i think if i do this dot videos equals videos that should do the trick let let's see yes so our um you know search is working there are uh, a few things which we need to quickly do for example i need to clear this out um okay and that we can do here i think mm. so this is search and then data it's a callback right so i will do this dot search equals empty and yeah i think that's pretty much it let me again do something else maybe what do we search for laravel repository all right so 
this is now getting emptied and we have our search results here so yeah this is how we are now able to search the uh, youtube api and update our you know, videos array with this search result and in the next video uh, what we are going to do is implement the router so that we can click on an individual card and go to the route and see the video all right so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel